Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on the Glasgow Coma Scale, which is an evaluation tool to help us determine the patient's mental status after a traumatic brain injury. Now it can also be used in other settings such as after a stroke, for example, but after traumatic head injury, this is usually kind of like the golden standard that we like to use. And it's divided into three different categories, which are the eye response, the patient's verbal response, and their motor response, and we give them a number. So eye for eye um, opening, we have four different scales. So the first one is spontaneous, meaning you went, go in to assess the patient and their eyes open spontaneously or they are open already, which is the biggest score of a four. Now, if the patient's eyes are closed when you approach them and you say, hello, Mr. or Mrs. so-and-so, and they open their eyes, then that would be a three, meaning that they've opened their eyes to your voice, to the sound of your voice. Now, number two then, or a score of two, is when the patient opens their eyes to pain. And we wanna be mindful when we elicit a painful response or a response to pain from the patient. So this could be anything from, most people think about a sternal rub, which can be quite invasive. Um, or maybe pinching their nail bits, which can be kind of painful as well, if you want to just try that on your, on your own nail bit. And you always want to make sure that you start with the least amount of pain you can possibly inflict on this patient, and then maybe go a little bit, pinch that fingernail a little bit more if there is no pain. And so if they then respond to pain by withdrawing or moaning, that would be give them a score of two. If there's no eye opening at all, it would be a score of one. For the verbal response, so there are five numbers now, or a scale five to one or one to five. So if the patient is oriented, they get a score of five, meaning we ask them all for orientation questions, orientation to person, place, time, and event. If they answer less than four of the orientation questions correctly, that means they are disoriented and they get a score of four. If they respond to your questions with inappropriate words, meaning you ask them um, what happened to you and they say, my brother, then that would be an inappropriate response to the question that you just asked and would assign them a score of three. If there are incomprehensible words, meaning there's just a gibberish, or some kind of sounds that don't make sense at all, there would be a score of two. And again, if the verbal response is none, so the patient doesn't say or make a sound, it would be a one. Now for motor response, um, we have six different uh, numbers here we can assign the patient. So if they obey the commands, squeeze my fingers, for example, open your eyes, smile, those kind of things of the neurologic exam. If they obey commands, they get a score of six. If they have purposeful movement, meaning that they localize to pain, you to pain, meaning that maybe you tap them on your arm and they kind of try to move your hand away, that would, would mean that they are able to localize where that, um, where that touch happened and that would be a score of five. If they withdraw from pain, meaning they just kind of jerk away from you, um, that would be a score of four. And then we have posturing here, which is usually a, a, a pretty um, significant sign already. That means that there's some, probably some pretty significant brain injury going on, is decorticate, meaning that the patient is posturing, and that is an involuntary response where the patient's um, hands and arms come towards the core. That's how I res um, remember that, decorticate to the core which gives them a score of three, and then the cerebrate gives them a score of two, and that means the posturing has moved from the core all the way down to the cerebrate, and I have some separate videos where I discuss the post posturing here exactly. And so the cerebrate posturing is worse than the corticate because they get a three or a two, depending on what response we have, and then if there's no motor response at all, so if the patient is not moving, they get a score of one. So if we look this over, the best score the patient can achieve is a 15, and the minimum score is a three. So if the patient is completely unresponsive in the eye, motor, and verbal response, they still get a score of three, so it is not a score of zero. You cannot get a score of zero on a Glasgow Coma Scale. And then this in-between here, less than eight, 
of a GCS means that the patient is comatose. So there's some significant insult that has happened to their brain. And if there is a score of three, meaning that there is no response at all in either category, they are considered unresponsive or yeah, unresponsive. And then over here, this is a tidbit that I always like, GCS less than eight intubate, meaning that the patient, if they are comatose, they are more than likely not able to protect their airway and it is our job to do that for them. So then they will be intubated and if this is due to a traumatic brain injury, they will have to go to all the imaging studies um, if they're stable enough to see what exactly is going on, what kind of injury they sustained. So thanks so much for watching on this, this video on the Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS. Please also check out my other skills videos about assessments and different scales so you become more familiar with those. Thanks for watching. See you soon.